Chapter 2, Mysterious Visitors Author's Note This chapter is where the Power Rangers are first introduced. Not all the Power Rangers will be introduced, though, because of a huge character dealing. The introduction of Trini as a photojournalist and Jason as a NASA pilot are somewhat my attempt of putting Shiro, Go, and Mika Kozi relationship from Bioman in the two of them. Uh, why can't they just be Jason and Trini? Slightly revised, December 30th, 2011. At Germany, a huge medieval castle type was there. Inside it was a man who had dark blue skin, a huge scar across his face, white hair, and, a reveal and wearing an attire of a count. He was Radigit, the most fearsome enemy the Jetmen had fought in their past. He was marveling at the progress done by the United Alliance of Evil in his conquest of Europe. Ah, such a beautiful sight to see these nations come before me. Now I have established my territory here on Earth, said Radigate. Besides, Radigate was Tranza, who had spent most of his life in a mental institution, now restored to his second-in-command. Well, Tranza, I do hope you are aware who leads now, said Radigate, pointing his sword. Oh, perfectly, sire, said Tranza. Well then, we prepare to destroy the Sentai group soon enough, said Radigate with an evil laugh. Quester Guy and Quester Re entered. Each one of them stood beside the throne, one on each side. This might be more fun. Looks like this Emperor Radigate guy is a pretty cool fellow after all, said Quester Guy. You got that right, said Quester Re. Apparently, we've been given more importance now as his guardsmen and we're on the same side. We both hate humans like he does. Guy, Re, silence! The others will come join us soon. It's important that we get everyone gathered together as this alliance begins its pilot attacks against Earth, said Radigate. Yes, Emperor, said Quester Guy and Quester Re. Some old villains were returning. Some did not belong to the Super Sentai universe. There is Yamba of Darkness, who he deemed a better replacement for... Oh my god, I can't believe you misspelled Grey that badly. For his coldness and cruelty... Shuza, who Radigat had turned into a Viram officer while retaining her name, despite her altered memories. Mitiko Nataga, a.k.a. Abare Killer, who he brainwashed into becoming a member of his team. Riyuan, Abrelar, Bladeoran, and Long, who was second to him in cruelty, who belonged to the Super Sentai universe. From the Power Rangers' own side... From the Power Rangers' universe, Trakina from Lost Galaxy, and Mesagog from Dino Thunder who were accidentally revived in the process. <sighs> the Power Rangers characters are just going along for the ride, aren't they? This world is a little like mine. So I exactly wonder how this new United Alliance of Evil will be. I feel like our new leader will be more frightening than Dark Spectre. Plus, it is an edge to us to have our new organization here on Earth, said Drakina. I cannot believe there is a force similar to the Dino Thunder in this world, especially that of Mitako Nadegai, who wears the same armor as Trent Fernandez. Are you sure he's part of us? He seems kind of odd, said Mesagog. I don't know who this Trent Fernandez is, Mesagog, and honestly, ugh, my head really hurts. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. I guess I'm odd, said Mitiko, who was subjected to brainwashing shortly after he was revived. He had his history of being a villain, so Radigate thought purging the way the goodness in him. This is pathetic. Can't we just get forward to the killing? I'm itching to fight. I am Shuza of the Viram, a Viram officer of cold blood, said Shuza, annoyed at all the ramblings, looking at her necromod like Maria would in Jetman. Again, why couldn't Shuza just be Shuza? Remember, Shuza, you are mine to command, said Radigat. That won't happen, be a be a bit. I may be a Viren, but I am not your toy, said Shuza. Crud. All my efforts to turn her into a Viren is not so successful. 
She still has part of her childishness, but maybe that will help. Mitiko, it'd be fun to turn him once more against the people he learned to love. He should have stayed evil, said Radige. Although she had been given new powers as a Vyram officer in place of Maria, some part of her childishness remained to a certain extent. The same, despite her bad memories of the Yamba beat where erased. Gecko whined about his status, which Yamba of Darkness liked get for keeping his former boss in a cage. Have I been reduced to just a pathetic pet? asked Guido inside his cage. What happened to the days when I led Dark Shadow? There's something familiar about that bird, said Shuza, but I don't know what. If only I knew what it was with him. Dark Shadow? That name sounds familiar. Tranza, I wish to know, what is Dark Shadow? It seems like- Oh, you are just so annoying for a new Vyram officer, said Tranza to Shuza. You don't need to know anything about that bird. You are Shuza of the Vyram elite, just like your companion Yaiba is of Vyram. You are an alliance officer now. That's right, said Yamba of the Darkness. I have replaced an utterly pathetic robot, Grey. Grey had some compassion, I have none. I could finish the job he never did. Sire, my only aim right now is to get even with the ghost sages once and for all, said Bladeran. As for us, Eji Tachuka specifically, said Guy. Oh, just him? What about the rest of the Bolkengers? Oh yeah, I want to get even for Satoru Atashi for leaving me for dead, said Ryuan. Mine with the Geki Rangers, said Long, and an extension the go Andres for helping them real seal me in that tight ball. Oh, how I hate to think that they would be returning. Or mine with the Hurricanes, said Tao Zanto. And I don't know why we have to wait to take drifters along with us who don't come from our world. Who are you calling drifters? I am part of this alliance now, said Trakina, sneering at Tao Zanto. And so am I, said Mezagog in an angry manner. You're still all drifters to me, said Long. Silence, all of you! As I said, we must make use of what we have now. You were all restored by me, and I am Radige, Emperor of Darkness. As of right now, I think I know what to do to lead those heroes out. Abrella, you may as well attack two science facilities in Tokyo to bait them out, those meddling heroes. They might be in connection to the Super Sentai heroes. I won't deploy everyone immediately as part of standard operating procedure, considering how all of you died back then or were banished. So were you! We still need to find more villains. As of everything, the chain of command now goes down from me to Tranza, then Long, Tao Zano, Trakina, Ryuan, Abia of Darkness, Bladeoran, Abrelar, and Mezagog for now are my high field commanders, said Radigate. The High Command each had plans of their own, while trying to be careful, save Tranza, who could be quite vocal over his objections. Well, I really think that your plan isn't going to work so well, said Tranza. What? You dare defy me after I restore you to full health, said Tr Radigat. Perhaps you need another lesson. Not if I can help it, said Tranza. Besides, this isn't over yet, Radigat. We might as well see who's the better leader, Radigat. Say so yourself. But if you don't mind, I've got a little speech to make to the Earth. Okay, we need to get something out of the way right now. Radigan is considered by the fans to be one of the most evil villains in the Super Sentai franchise. His only real competition being the aforementioned Long from Geki Ranger and Bosco from Gokaiger. However, he is not one of the more powerful ones. I can assure you of that. On the contrary, I say Long has more of a reason to be called one of the more powerful ones since he's the one who's immortal. After all, Radige had a bad habit of being badly beaten by other villains, including Tranza. Need I mention that there was one episode where he got defeated by a fucking bird? No, I'm not kidding. Moving on. Just as said, Radige began to make a speech, causing the skies to darken. At the new sky base, they had noticed unusual readings. Radige is really back in business, said Deputy Commander Guy Yuki, remembering the stab wound in the past that had claimed his life, yet was mysteriously restored back to life. At the Earth, the population were in panic. Older people remembered the first time Radige had caused commotion back in 1991. Greetings, people of Earth. It has been at least two decades since I have been gone. Now I am back to cause harm. 
I conquered some nations in Europe to establish by territory here on earth as my central headquarters. Soon I will conquer the earth. I will show you that I mean business, said Radigan. To show his sadism, Radigan destroyed an entire daycare center, not caring he was killing children. Then he deployed his forces to attack innocent civilians just for the fun of it. Back to the Super Sentai Alliance. The heroes were getting assembled at the United Super Sentai Alliance. It is no surprise Radigan is really back to cause destruction as he pleased. Worse, he destroyed a daycare center without any pity. That is cold-blooded, said Satoru. Maybe even worse than Long, said Jad. Oh boy, I hate to think of anyone like him out there. It is not surprising either, said Deputy Commander Gaiyuki. He had cheated death many times and managed to return from one form after another. That brute. We must try to stop his initial invasion, said Supreme Commander Ryu. No doubt about it, said Satoru. Some of the SPD stations are under attack and many have died in the process. Wait, something's wrong with the radar. Holes in reality. What if they are foreign invaders too? I think we need to check this out. Attack! Addy snapped his fingers. Maybe we can go too, said Takaru Shiba. Takaru, I give you the honor of this mission, said Supreme Commander Ryu. Call for help if you need it. We will be there even if I have to bring the big guns. But then something appeared on the monitor, surprising Takaru Shiba. What the? said Takaru Shiba. Looks like there's some unknown breach. Another world. I think people from some other world are about to drop. They could be part of the United Alliance of Evil or not. Let's find out and investigate. I'm going to investigate with you, Takaru, said Hoji. You'll need a sniper to back you up, knowing there are long-range fighters, too. He's right, said Supreme Commander Ryu. Hoji, go join him. Jasmine and Sakura volunteer to be part of the job. We'll go, too, said Jasmine. I guess it's only natural to send the women out, said Tetsu. After all, somebody has to be the manager of the mission, just like you are, Jasmine. I wish you'd be careful. I will be, Tetsu, said Jasmine, who had just become his girlfriend just about the other day. Where the fuck did that come from? If you need help, the knight in bright armor will come for you, said Tetsu. I knew I could count on you, Tetsu, said Jasmine. Agreed, said Supreme Commander Ryu. Meanwhile, in the Power Rangers universe year 2005, Tommy was starting to think about his visions of being pulled into a legendary conflict. What if it's true? Just as he was speaking, a portal was about open, taking him somewhere. Whoa, what's going on? asked Tommy as he was taken somewhere. A strange voice was heard. It was the spirit of Barai appearing right in front of Tommy. Tommy, I am your first counterpart. Know that it is no accident you are entering the world of Super Sentai. Use your powers well. You'll need to help other groups of warriors like yourself, said Barai before it disappeared. Now this is just getting creepy, said Tommy. Aka Red then appeared before Tommy. I am Aka Red, born of the dream of the 30 Red Rangers, nor 34 said Aka Red. Whoa, talk about crazy, said Tommy. Well, Tommy, you've done your part in helping open the necessary portal for me to materialize, said Aka Red. Now I am going to find the chosen hero of your world. I originally wanted to choose you as our world savior, but you are not strong enough. But you will soon find out who I have chosen to save your world from total destruction. And then Tommy disappeared in a ray of light, entering the Super Sentai universe. Just who is that hero, said Tommy. Meanwhile, the Science Center, Trans and Umbrella made their appearance with some Griams and Aneroids. Behold, this is the fury of the United Alliance of Evil, said Tranza. Umbrella began to fly around, firing his dangerous laser beams. The Griams and Aneroids were holding their pistols on high, firing bullets in several directions, killing the people at the research center. Yeah, just keep trying to make them sound better than everyone else, will you? What a beautiful sight, said Tranza. Now keep firing. Don't leave a person alive. They may be allies of the Super Sentai. Umbrella returned to Tranza. Tranza sama. Apparently we've much ground to cover, said Umbrella. Then we'll tackle them, said Tranza. But first I'd like to blow this building up. Tranza used his telekinetic powers to allow a gasoline tank to fly and destroy a civilian building, putting a good portion of the area on fire. And just as a momentary speaking, the Power Rangers universe year 2005 started to get some unusual readings. Somewhere, Jason was now a pilot for NASA. He had just passed his tests, but he was disturbed of his dream the other night. In his mind was a vision of Geki. Jason, Geki, said Geki. How do you know me? asked Jason and Chuck. You are chosen to fight in a legendary war between dimensions. You are chosen to help end a conflict that could destroy both your world and mine. Then he saw visions of the Zhu Rangers before he woke up that night.